What's going on Facebook? What's going on uh, YouTube? Man, I gotta give a big shout out to everybody that's viewed these uh, these videos I've been putting out. And uh, man, I'm having fun doing it. I wanna kinda give you a back story about me real quick. So, my name is Mike Horthcock. I mean, I don't hide it, it's on Facebook. Um, I'm just a simple dude from Deepwood East, Texas off of Lake Fork. Um, I've piddled around with motors and engines on my life. Uh, I am definitely no certified mechanic, nor am I any engineer of any means. But man, what I'm doing is what I like, you know. Uh, I enjoy doing things and doing something now that I can see that other people relate to and they like. And um, so what I'm doing now is I'm uh, just trying to see if I can make this thing work on a permanent basis on my truck. I mean, it seems to be working. So I'm going to make some videos and post them out. And if y'all use them, you do. If not, there will be entertainment, you know. Like the comments if you want to. If not, I get it. I'm not being monetized. I'm not making any money off this. Um... Even if I was to be able to monetize, which I've tried, um, for some reason, my account's blocked. I have 300.8 million viewers, and, um, and I think 25 to 27,000 followers. And this has happened overnight, you know, I mean, in the last two weeks. So I tell everybody, man, thank you guys so much for everybody that's ever called me sent me friend requests, anything like that, you know, depression is a very deep sickness, and I had back surgery back in uh, the first of June, or the latter part of June of last year on 21, and then I got a staph infection from a uh, dirty operating room, uh, somebody else's body fluids, and it ate up my spinal sheathing off my cord. It left me paralyzed in the right side of my leg from my quads up into my bladder. Um, I had to relearn how to walk again. That was hard. Um, so then I had the clean out, which left me in the hospital for four months. And uh, that was a grueling long year. Because July the 7th, my birthday, I was in the hospital um, having to clean out. And then April the 27th of this year, I had another surgery right here. So, to get to the point of what I'm talking about, what I'm doing here is strictly entertainment. I mean, this is 8th grade science. I remember doing stuff like this in high school and coming out of junior high. But, I mean, I did it. I built a cell out of PVC and figured out how to keep the from overheating and then I figured out that I can't run this in a in a vehicle with a computer system because it kept throwing codes and so then I said okay I'll, I tried it and when I tried it it worked and if y'all could have saw my face the first time that I videoed this running without the fuel pump fuse in it and there's no fuel going in I know because you can't hear the fuel pump humming and also that I would not have the hydrogen hooked up and I would undo the fuse and the truck would die so that tells me that's the fuel pump relay I mean it says it on the on the fuel on the fuel box so not, I'm not trying to go into this long story. I'm just trying to give you my background on why I'm doing this. I'm not doing this to make money. Far from. I'm doing this because it's entertainment. And if it can help somebody, God, man, just let's do it. I'm not trying to hurt big oil. There's always going to have to be gas. Um, I'm just trying to help the next dude, the next neighbor, the next family. You know, And if it works, so be it. It works for me. I can't guarantee it for nobody else, but I built four of them, and every one of them's worked, and it's been simple, and I can build one for under fifty dollars. 
So, anyhow. Thank y'all for listening to my long saga journey of this whole situation. Man, it, again, I really, really, really appreciate every single one of you guys that are out there liking, viewing, sharing, you know, being skeptical. That is what this is about. This isn't some expert trying to tell somebody, hey, do this. This works. This is a redneck dude from the backwoods of East Texas on the greatest fishing lake in the United States of Lake Fork with an 05 Chevrolet 60. The average is 8 to 9 miles a gallon. I know because I'm the one that made it do that. Chopping the pipes and the whole nine yards because, like I said, I've been a motorhead all my life. But I do know that my gas mileage has increased. And I can't say for you, but I can prove it on me. And the next time I ride around in my truck, when I decide to go and feel better enough to go, I'm going to film it. I've already put some more gas in it, and I've been driving around on it, and the, the needle barely moves. I'm not saying I, I don't drive a full-blown hydrogen fuel cell on demand, or brown gas, whatever you want to call it. I'm not doing this strictly hydrogen. I'm running my truck off gas and hydrogen. And it's not having to dump as much fuel into the injectors or tell this thing, hey, you know what? We got to really put some gas in here to get this thing going. It's like that it has a souped up octane gasoline. I mean, my acceleration is crazy now. I got a, a you know 2500 HD with 33s on it and I was ripping the tires off that truck is I mean it's it's quick but not as quick as it has been I mean if y'all see my video of me driving down highway 154 I barely even got into it and you can hear it just like a racehorse taking off to me that's evidence I'm not hurting my motor God knows but anyhow, guys, I appreciate y'all very much. I'm going to make a film here shortly showing y'all how, uh, what materials and stuff that I've done on this. But thank y'all again so much for you guys. Thanks.